Ayo, hey what is poppin' poppers? In today's video, I'll be counting down the top 5 most anticipated Funko Pop lines of 2021. So let's get into it. This year so far has been great for Funko. Kicking off the year with the Funko Fair had a lot of Funko fans excited for many different lines to release throughout the year. There was such a wide variety of figures announced this year, ranging from anime to Marvel to DC to Disney to sports to animation to movies, there was really something for everyone. In today's video, I'll be counting down some of the most anticipated Funko Pop lines that Funko has announced this year. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Starting off, we have the One Piece Funko Pops. We got three updated versions of Luffy, Zoro, and Brook, and we also got two new characters introduced to us, which is the former Warlord Crocodile, as well as Sabo. This new wave of One Piece Funko Pops had left fans all over the world thrilled because it's been such a long time since we we've seen anything made by Funko for One Piece. And as a huge One Piece fan, I can speak on behalf of the One Piece community when I say this, but these figures are really awesome and I really do like these a lot. And these are some of the best figures in my opinion that Funko has made in a very, very long time. Especially that Gear 4th Luffy. Come on, look at that thing. What? That's insane. And when looking at the long term for a lot of these One Piece figures, I can definitely see these going up a lot in value. We've already seen it with like simple characters such as Trafalgar Law. And one character in specific that I can see going up a lot in value in this next year would be Gear 4th Luffy. And the reasoning behind that is very simple. It's an exclusive to Chow's Collectibles. It's really well done. The detail on it is insane. One of the best molds Funko's made in a very long time. And I also noticed on Instagram, YouTube, on pretty much all social medias that a lot of people were talking about this figure and this is where all the hype was going for this line. So I can definitely see this one being worth a lot in the next couple of years. Another character we saw this year for One Piece was 2020 Chopper exclusive to Emerald City Comic Con. And that pop in specific is such a great example of how hyped this One Piece line is because that character sold out almost everywhere. People were hyped about it. People were buying like 15 of them. It was crazy. Moving on to the next most anticipated Funko Pop line of 2021, we have the Rick and Morty Funko Pop wave. It was almost a year since we saw any new Rick and Morty Pops and this line was a big shock to a lot of Rick and Morty collectors. This new wave introduced us to 5 new commons and 2 new exclusives. We got an updated Evil Morty, we got a new Summer, we got a Rick and Morty duo of them with their Glorzos on their face, we got the dragon from the Wizard episode which I have to say is an insane pop. We also got a Target exclusive Rick with a funnel on his head as well as a Funko Shop exclusive Morty holding Rick Funko Pop. What even is that? Hey, I'm not complaining because that's a pretty cool pop nonetheless. Or would it be Pops because he's holding a Rick Funko Pop? Uh, I don't know. Just like I mentioned before, these new pops were the first pops that Funko has released in almost a year for the Rick and Morty line. In 2020, Funko only released five or six different Rick and Morty figures, not even figures, just Rick and Morty merchandise, so there was only two pops that got released that year. So for many, this new wave of Rick and Morty pops was a big surprise for them since it's going to be the first Rick and Morty pops that released in almost a year. And it left a lot of people hyped for these, and personally myself, I kind of fangirled a little bit when I saw these, but these are really awesome, and I have to give props to Funko for making some really awesome characters. Especially the dragon. Look how cool that thing is. I, I'm sorry, I have to mention again it's really awesome and the next fungal pop line we have for today's video is the newest naruto wave this new line contains new characters new molds a lot of different characters that people have been wanting for a very long time which a lot of people are excited to see these characters made into fungal pops for example shikamaru or minato naruto was the first ever anime that i watched i didn't really get into ship it in too much but i do know what happens and kind of the gist of the story but it is really cool to see this new wave of naruto pops as mentioned before this new wave contains a lot of characters the community has been wanting for a very long time this new line contains a new Naruto pop, which a lot of people are excited about, and I have to say, I don't even know what's going on in that pop, but the pop overall looks really well done, and the detail on it is crazy. We also got a Shikamaru using his Shadow Jutsu, which this is a pop that people have been wanting for a very long time, and I am honestly surprised Funko waited this long to make a Shikamaru pop, especially since he is a fan favorite. Then we finally got Kabuto, which I have to say, this is an insanely well done pop as well. They did an amazing job with all these Naruto pops. Then we have Minato in a really cool action pose. I think they did an amazing job with this one as well. And then we have probably my favorite out of this whole set, which is Pain. Pain is honestly amazingly well done. Hopefully in the near future, we can see all the rest of the Akatsuki made as well. I know they've made Itachi already, but I'm talking about all the other ones like Kisame, uh, Deidara. All of the Akatsuki would be really cool as pops, but Pain is honestly one of my favorite pops that they've made for the Naruto line in a very, very long time. And we also got two AAA anime exclusives for this line, which is Minato and Kakashi. I guess you can say Minato is also in an action pose in this pop as well, since he is using his Rasengan here, it looks like he's in a fight, probably the fight that he did with Obito, uh, but yeah, this is a really cool pop. And there also is a chase for this pop which glows in the dark, and the only parts of his body that glow in the dark it seems is his Rasengan as well as some parts of his cloak. And then we have a younger Kakashi when he was a part of the Anbu Black Ops. This one is also a AAA anime exclusive, and the normal version of Kakashi shows off his whole face alongside his Sharingan. And then the Chase exclusive has his Anbu Black Ops mask on. I think they did a great job with this pop. A lot of people are excited about this one and I can definitely see why. This one is honestly really, really cool in my opinion. This new wave of Naruto has left a lot of people hyped and I think the main reason that a lot of people are hyped for this new wave is because it's a lot of different characters that people have been wanting for a very long time now turned into pops finally. The Naruto pops never failed to amaze me. The amount of detail and effort put into these pops is immaculate. I really do like these pops a lot and whoever is working on these at Funko, 
you're doing an amazing job. Next up, we have the Godzilla vs. Kong Pops. Godzilla vs. Kong is probably the most anticipated movie of 2021, and the pops that they made for this lineup are honestly insane. They released five different comments for this lineup, three of them being Kong and two being Godzilla. They also released a bunch of different exclusives for this lineup, and I think my favorite exclusive has to be the FYE exclusive Godzilla that glows in the dark, just because of how good the glow in the dark looks on that pop. They also released jumbo sized characters of these pops, which I think is also a really nice touch considering that they are pretty big in the, uh, they're massive in the movie. Uh, but yeah, considering that they're pretty big in the movie, it does make sense that they made oversized pops for these characters. A lot of people are very excited for this movie and I can definitely see why. This is a fight that everyone's gonna wanna watch. And also, like I mentioned before, the pops for this movie are honestly insane. Some of the best pops I've seen in a very long time from Funko. And I'm not even a fan of Godzilla vs. Kong. I don't really know like much about the two characters in general, but I just think these are two really, really cool looking pops. We got some amazing looking pops for a really hyped up movie this year. So yeah, this is definitely one of the most anticipated lines that Funko has announced this year. Let me know in the comments down below who you think is gonna win the fight between Godzilla and Kong. Honestly, in my opinion, I think Godzilla's gonna win just because he can literally breathe fire. And finally, we have probably the most anticipated Funko Pop line of today's video, which is the Hamilton Funko Pops. Now, I know these actually weren't announced at Funko Fair, but I decided to still throw in today's video since they are insanely hyped and were recently announced. I don't know much about Hamilton, but all I know is that it's actually a Broadway musical and a lot of people seem to be huge fans of it. And we especially saw this on Instagram when they first announced the new wave of Hamilton Funko Pops. Lots of people were excited in the comments. I've seen lots of people reposting them and they got a lot of likes on the post. This new wave of Hamilton Funko Pops brought us pops of Eliza, Alexander, Aaron, Peggy, George, and Angelica. There also was an exclusive to Walmart of Alexander Hamilton, and I have to say this Walmart exclusive is a lot better than the common that we got. And we also got some pocket pops of these characters. And as I mentioned before, I'm not too familiar with Hamilton, but when I went on Instagram the day that these got announced, I literally couldn't stop seeing these in my feed. Everyone was posting about them, everyone was talking about them, a lot of people seemed to be excited about these. The hype for these was honestly insane, and I can definitely see these selling very well for Funko. But anyways guys, that's been it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you please drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new here. Let me know in the comments down below what wave of Funko Pops that Funko was announced in 2021 that you're most excited for. Personally, for me, it probably has to be between Rick and Morty and One Piece. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.